Hello friends, this is Kishan and welcome you in this video tutorial. Uh, this video is the continuation of my uh, few video series which I had uploaded earlier and those videos are related to Java Stream API. So in this video tutorial we are going to explore about the API which is related to the reduction functionality. So Stream API allows reducing a sequence of elements to some value according to a specified function with the help of reduce method of the type stream this method takes two parameters first a start value and second an accumulator function imagine that you have a list of integer and you want to have some of all these elements and some initial integer in this example we have a 23 so you can run the following code and the result would be 26 so here you can see, <coughs> sorry, we have a list of integers, one, 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 three times, and there are three elements, and every element is value of one, and in this integer, just we have applied a stream functionality, <coughs> sorry, and uh, integer dot stream, you got the stream of integer, and you just applied reduce method on that, and initial value you have given twenty three and just you have a specified a lambda expression and this will try to add this of the elements in 23 and you got the final result 23 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 that is 26 so that's the concept about this reduction method and so using reduce functionality you can perform reduction now next concept in this slide we have a collecting the reduction can also be provided by the collect method of type stream this operation is very handy in case of converting a stream to a collection or a map and representing a stream in form of single stream this is a utility class uh, there is a sorry there is a utility class is called collector uh, collectors uh, in java.util we have a utility class is called collection similarly we have a new class which is introduced in the java 8 that is called collectors which provides a solution for almost all typical collection operations for some not trivial task a custom collector can be created and if you, if you want to create the custom collector then you, there is your provision to create a custom collector as well so here if you have a list of integer then you can call list of a string then you can call a stream method on list and after that we are going to use map function and just we are retrieving every element from the list which is a type of a string and converting to the uppercase and finally uh, we convert that stream into collection using the two list method which is available in the collector utility class and this code uses the terminal uh, uh, function is called collect operation to reduce the, the stream of a string to the list of integer so these two concept will see how we can uh, learn these things through an example so here is the eclipse let's go ahead and create a project I would say project name reduction and collector API in stream api collector stream api right and click on next and finally click on the finish button so here in this src i am going to create a class in package com dot infotech and class name i am going to specify client test which will have a main method now let's try to explore, explore what we have seen in the uh, slide about the reduce method. So here what I'll try to do, I'll create a list of integers. And this is nothing but the integer. Equal to new, I'm going to take array list. But you are free to choose any implementer of list. 
press Ctrl Shift O for organize import and here in this list I am going to add some value like 10, 20 and 30 sorry so we will have to add elements one by one so three elements I am going to add but we want to add as much as element we want you can so three elements I have added right now uh, I am going to call a uh, stream method on this integer list of integer so this will give us gives us the stream of integer right and uh, this is intermediate operation right now again you can call another method is called reduce right uh, reduce method which will give which, which will accept two parameters right first is the initial uh, parameter that I am going to specify 100 and second you can specify x comma y and you can basically you can specify over here uh, lambda expression x plus y something like this and now this guy will return you a reduce method so basically this will return the sum of all and here you can here I am just trying to add I mean every element which is in list with 100 in which is an initial value but here you can have any kind of lambda expressions that will perform different action so here if I try to print this sum value then 100 100 plus 10, 110 plus 20, 130 plus 30, 160. So if I try to print this value, then we are getting 160. So you can, I mean, use reduce, reduce method for different, I mean, functionality, right? Because basically here, we just we are passing the behavior. So here you have opportunity to pass different kind of behavior with initial value. So that's about the all, that's all about the reduction API. That is nothing but the reduce method. Now next thing in this slide we have discussed something is called collecting functions. That is nothing but the collect. So here let's go to look into this concept as well. So we have a list of a string. Okay, and here I'm going to add some elements in this array list. right so let's try to add few names in this list so I would add few names in this list I'm going to add Sean Martin Frank, so only three name I am going to add, but in real scenario, you might have millions of record in this list. Now, what I'll do? Hmm, list. I will call a stream method on this a stream, and then you have a method is called map, and map method is just we are passing every elements of this list so i would say element and here i'm passing lambda expressions and element dot i would say uppercase so elements is nothing but this is type of a string so you can call the uppercase to uppercase so that every elements in this list will be converted into the uppercase or in capital and after that I'm just trying to call so I'm trying to call collect method right collect and collect will uh, here we are going to use collector right collector class collector sorry collectors which is in java.util.stream package 
and collectors has a method is called as list sorry to list so this will convert into again so look at the api list.stm will return you the list of string itself again you are calling map so this will basically return you a again a stream a stream of a string itself so this is also an intermediate operation now you are calling collector right so this will give give you the final result which is nothing but the list of a string and if you can store over here so you have a list of a string here and if you want to this collected value we want to print then you may use for each loop right which is the part of the java it and here you can specify consumer like this system dot out color colon print ln so basically you are passing the consumer and if i try to run it then see all names is taken from the list and that is converted into a uh, capital letters and finally this list we have collected over here and try to print it so this works very fine so these are the two functionality i wanted to explore in this video tutorial i hope you enjoyed learning this two concepts and uh, i will come with some more concept about the stream api in next video series and thank you for watching this video